I finished creating my short film Misery Loves Company in February 2023. I wanted to create this piece because I originally conceptualized and then pitched it way back in high school. I wanted to create a short with the visualization of someone's depression because at least in my case, even when you are by yourself, it doesn't feel like you're actually alone. Even years after the original pitch in 2019, I still very much resonate with the story so I just had to further develop the script and then produce it. How I approached the making of this piece has been a little bit different than my most recent projects, and that is because it wasn't a one-person crew. Before I even started scripting this piece, I made sure to ask my friend Evelyn if she would like to be the editor and camera operator. I knew it was going to be a larger project, so I knew I needed the help. And due to someone else's scheduling conflict, I knew it would have to be in front of the camera as well as the thing character, so Evelyn would definitely be a very helping hand. An aspect of this piece that satisfied my intentions was that I was able to get the bittersweet message across. There isn't a fast and easy cure for mental health problems, but with a good support system, it definitely makes it easier. Another thing that I also liked about the final project of this piece was that I was able to work with different art forms, like making the mask and animating the credits. The biggest thing that I would change about this piece is trying to direct a shoot while also wearing a mask that I can barely see out of while I'm on camera. Even if someone like Evelyn was giving me an eye light or the timing for a shot, I am not an actor so I could barely execute it anyways but also barely being able to see did not help me at all. But besides the difficulties that presented themselves during the shoot, I would actually want to make the script and then the final short longer so I could really flesh out the story and the themes and the message in them.